Okay. So, uh, William. You want me to talk about stuff? Yeah, please. Maybe you can show some nice techniques or show what you've been doing or where you've been busy right. with. Well, right now I'm, uh, I'm working on scenes with the rodents. And uh, I'm working on them shot by shot. And the way I do it is I start by making a very rough outline of the shot, where they're moving. And so they just go like this. I just move them across the screen uh, using a like a looping animation, and it's all it's all uh, the feet look like they're skating. And then I I go in and, and give it a second pass of animation where I I make him cover the same distance, but then make him make him stop. And so I layer upon that uh, animation. So I start on with very simple movements, and then I, I once I know the speed and the overall movement, I I will find it in a second pass. And, and once I've done that, I go in and, and fix uh, things that I want changed in the animation. At the moment, we're doing, we found out we have to do one shot a day to finish on time. And so this is turning out to be quite insane. Everyone, the rule is that everyone has to finish a shot by the end of the day. And uh, at least one shot. Can you show your shot of yesterday? Yep. So here we are, they're running along, and he takes a leap. And that's it. And the way I did this was, I, I made a, a run cycle, mm -hmm. and it just repeats it, and then I made it move forward, and then I added some variation on top of that. And, um, And so you can see he looks to the left and then he looks to the right and then he jumps at the very end. And how long how long you've been busy with a shot like this? Uh, this one day. One day. We have to we have to use we have to get back on track, we have to keep churning out shots every single day. And eventually we'll get there. But And know. how many seconds it was? And this one is 75 frames, right, so yeah, it's a few seconds. But, but of course, the, implex the complexity inc increases the more characters you have in a shot, and the the more stuff they do is they're just running forward. That's not as complicated as if they run and then go from a run to a walk and then start again. And you have to do lots of and turn and starting yes and turning and. Uh, and so, because the thing you want to avoid is you don't want the feet to slide, so you have to make sure that the feet stay in place. And um, uh, doing all this with the uh, NLA system in Blender is is a bit of a bother. So I'm just going at it sort of straightforwardly, where I start with a walk and goes into a or start with a run and then make him go into a walk. Um, and so, but it's nice to use these these uh, curves while you're planning out shots because you can get him to follow. You get characters to follow the curve, and you can modify the curve, and the character moves along the curve mm -hmm. like so. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice way of planning out the shot. Okay. I do not, however, use this for the final shot because I like to animate on top of that, mm -hmm. uh, add variation, and make sure it all looks nice, um, which is hard to do uh, 
with him following the curve. Mm -hmm. And did you, do, by techniques like using the curve, did you know it already before or did you learn it here? Or? Um, well, uh, I did. I have done it before, but it's uh, it's rather confusing to set up in Blender and I've been uh, using a tutorial by Bassam. Uh -huh. I'll just make a, a, a little advertisement for this uh, mm -hmm. DVD, mm -hmm. and it's made by Bassam Kodali, and it has everything you need to know about character animation in Blender. Mm -hmm. And it's very good. It's on so, uh, yes, it's on sale now at the Blender eShop. Don't hesitate. Yes, don't hesitate. Limited time. Well, now. I don't know if it's my time, but it's fun to say that. Yeah. It's probably completely untrue, but I'm going to say it because it's fun. For a limited time only! There you go.